Welcome back to Sister Circle Live. Recently, I had the chance to sit down with Hollywood icon Bill Duke. For the past 40 years, he's acted, produced, and directed movies and shows we've all enjoyed. He stopped by to talk about his amazing career. Take a look. We are so very honored to be in the presence of a legend. Yes, I am going to say a legend. This means I'm old. No, 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 it does not mean you're old. <laughs> the amazingly gifted writer, producer, director, actor, Bill Duke. How are you, sir? Thank you so much for having oh, me. Oh, it's such really a pleasure. Absolutely, it. absolutely. You know, as you look back over the span of your career, from the big screen, the small screen, in front of the camera, behind the camera, what do you attribute to your phenomenal success? I think the grace of God. Mm-hmm. Not traditional religion. I'm spiritual. I go to the church sometimes, but I, I am aware of the fact that uh, something much larger than my ego was in charge of me. Yeah. And so I surrender to that every day. Yes, yes. So you, of course, throughout the span of your career, you've been able to work with some amazing people, from Richard Pryor to Lawrence Fishburne. When you look back over the span of your work, what do you feel like is your most favorite body of work? Um, I enjoy being an actor, but directing is a whole other. Phenom, you know, it's, um, you get a chance to really read a script, but also apply your vision to it. Mm -hmm. And so um, I love great writing. Yes. And so directing for me is, I love acting and um, I want to continue to do it, but um, directing is my passion. What, what is your process like when you are preparing to direct a, a, a film? Wow, that's a great question. Thank you. Um, <laughs> The, the directing is broken down into basically two parts. Um, one is you read a script, and based on what the writer has written and your collaboration with that writer, you have to manifest a vision um, from the shots to the characters to the character arcs to the story arc, etc. And then you have to translate that vision to sometimes over 100 people, mm -hmm. the crew, the cast, the whatever. That's the first part, of it. that's the creative aspect. And then the second part is the most essential part of your survival, yeah. and that, that's management. Yeah. You, you can manage three things, time, people, and money. Hmm. Talk about some of those experiences that shaped who Bill Duke is as a man today. Oh. I know there's a plethora of yes, them. Yes, a lot. Yeah. Um, uh, I was very fortunate to have some great parents, and we came up during segregation. Um, my parents taught my sister and I this phrase that I never forgotten, and they said, um, never forget that you're no better than anybody else, but nobody else is better than you. Hmm. And that as part of my, what I live by. Yes. All the things that shaped me were some of my experiences, um, and I talk about it in the book. Um, I was the first black director on several shows in those days, and one of them was Dallas. Mm. And so um, I wanted to, you know, big black man, you know, yeah. with tie and jacket and nice briefcase, and drove up to the security guard at the gate. And um, I roll my window down, he looks at me and he says, um, who are you delivering for? Wow. What was your response? I said, um, well, I, what I wanted to say, <laughs> I'm about to deliver a can of to you. <laughs> right. But if I had said that, I would have been an angry black man and mm -hmm. never worked again. Mm -hmm. And so what I said to him was, I'm delivering my talents as the first black director on Dallas, open the gate. And the greatest thing about it was his response. He went, mm -hmm. I'll never forget it as long as I live. See, that yeah. was the best. Yes, but that was a teachable moment for him. I Hopefully. hope so. Yes. <laughs> I hope it was. Right. How do you think things have changed for people of color in, in the film industry? Have we, have we, have we, are, are we doing, are we doing what we need to do? Are we on the right path? Or do you think we still need a lot more work? We need a lot more work. We need a lot more understanding about how the business is changing. Um, Black Panther was one of the highest rated films in history, globally. But when you go in as a director, with a black project today, 
they'll tell you, well, that was an anomaly. Mm -hmm. Black films don't translate globally. So we're still facing that. Uh, but the opportunities that exist, it's been a major paradigm shift in our industry. Mm -hmm. um, not only be with the Disney's purchases and AT&T's purchases and Google, et cetera, but I sh shot a film last year with a great director named Steven Soddenberg. The film is called High Flying Bird. It's on Netflix now. Mm -hmm. um, the film was shot in two weeks, a feature film. Wow. With five iPhone 7 Pluses. What? When they did the dolly shots, they rolled them around in the wheelchair. Love it. So the question is, what's stopping us? Nothing can stop us. We're still, many of us are still so, wanting to be discovered. Right, we're, we're waiting on someone to come and tap your shoulder when you can actually do the work. You know what I'm saying? Yes. So everybody want to go to heaven. Yeah. But nobody want to die. Well, right. <laughs> <laughs> Coming up after the break, Bill Duke gives us a candid conversation about his character on Black Lightning and how it compares to him in real life. Mm. Stay with us. Well, let's talk about <laughs> Black Lightning and your character, Agent Percy O'Dell. Very, very stern man. Now, is, t t tell us what we can expect from this new season. And I want to know the parallels between Percy and Bill. <laughs> wow. <laughs> or if there's any. Uh, well, you know, in Bill, uh, I would say, um, you know, like all of us, some people take kindness for weakness. Mm. But you know there's the other side. Yes, there is. I know all about it. <laughs> I prefer not to show that. Yes. But Mr. Odell shows that all the time mm -hmm. because his loyalty is to his nation. And he'll do anything to protect his country. Mm -hmm. um, he has no really moral fiber. It's more of a commitment to mission. And he doesn't expect anybody to understand it. Mm -hmm. And he doesn't care. Yeah. He doesn't have any friends. He's not married. He doesn't have a girlfriend. He wears the same black suit. It's like a uniform with the same tie. He has around seven suits in his closet, same shoes, same socks, every day. Mm. He doesn't care what anybody thinks about him, as long as he gets his job done. Yeah, yeah. So it's an interesting, his loyalty is his passion. Yes. Put it that. Does that make yes. any sense? Yes, that makes all the sense in the world. How does it feel to be on a show that's entertaining and you get to kind of live out this cultural aspect as well? It's a superhero show, one of the first ever on right, TV. Right. Black, black superhero. Yes, it's big time. But what's beautiful about it, another way, is like the Cosby Show. Mm -hmm. You have a core, central, nuclear black family yes. that has the same problems as any human family has. You have two daughters, you have a husband and wife. Yeah. And they go through the pain of being a family, and you see it every week, yes. and I, I love that about it. Good, good, good. Before we let you go, please talk to us about your foundation. I know you're doing some amazing work. Well, it's called the Duke Media Foundation, mm -hmm. and it's housed at the um, New York Film Academy in Los Angeles. They've been very kind to us, and um, we are constantly looking for funding because it's like, you know, we, we don't charge anything to the kids. Mm -hmm. We teach two things, um, media literacy, which is how is the industry changing yes. in terms of your survival over the next 15 or 20 years. Mm -hmm. uh, and the second thing we teach is financial literacy. I have a channel called Insights. and What we attempt to do is basically give people who are interested in the industry insights of survival mm -hmm. and nuggets that they can use in terms of their career. Yes. You like quotes? I do, I love quotes. Can I give you two? Sure. Two of my favorites. Um, aspire to inspire before you expire. Ha. If a man does not seek humility, humility will seek the man. Ooh, and we've seen that play out in so many people's lives. And in your lifetime, you will never see a smaller package than a person wrapped up in themselves. <laughs> that is so good. I'm going to live by all three. <laughs> I love it. Thank you so much, no, Mr. Thank Duke. You. This has been very, very an kind absolute very kind pleasure you. to be with you and to thank sit you. next to all of this genius, because that's what you, you are. God bless thank you, you too. Thank, thank you. you kindly. I appreciate it. The legendary Bill Duke. Thank you. Yes! Wow. Yes. You never
using a smaller package than someone who is wrapped up in themselves. Wow, that's, so that's a nugget self right there. My God, can't see oh. past themselves. Self-centered, mm. cynical, selfish mm. individuals. Mm. Mm. He's so uh, iconic. Mm. Bill Dude. amazing. Oh gosh, my man. I'm like just glad he stopped by to yes. see us on the yes. circle. Oh my gosh. Yeah. And you guys can keep up with his career by following him on Instagram at Real Bill Duke. And don't forget to catch the new season of Black Lightning this October on the CW. And of course, the conversation always continues at Sister Circle TV on all, all social platforms. Yes. Ah. Great job. Oh, yeah. He was dropping some jewels at the beginning. From the beginning, dropping yeah. jewels.